Okay, just as before in part A, you had to recognize the height that from which your uh, cannon shoots. Now, before we had to stack up paper to match the height, and we noticed that on this one, the height is roughly the same as the top of this, but if you look down in this barrel here, you can see that it slides down in there a ways. It's actually a little bit lower than that. And so, using the ball, you can kind of see it goes a little bit deeper. So the bottom of the ball is about here, which corresponds to about there. And I've drawn a line on there to show where that point is. Now you'll want to do something like that as well. Now in this lab, we have to shoot up extra high. So, this is the thing that I'm going to shoot on top of. Now you can shoot on top of a block of, or a stack of books if you'd rather. That's perfectly fine. This one I need to demonstrate what's going on. But you can happily shoot on top of a block of books, if, a stack of books if you want. From now we need to measure the change in Y and it will start at this line that I've drawn here and go to the top edge of the board up here. So you need to measure that delta Y on this for your, for your cannon and your stack of books. Okay?